Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a survey using Qualtrics in 2023. Qualtrics is a powerful online survey platform that allows you to design and distribute surveys, collect and analyze data, and gain valuable insights. So in this video, we'll guide you through the steps of creating survey using Qualtrics. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your preferred browser, or whatever browser you have, go to this URL section and simply type qualtrics.com and hit the enter button. So if you have an account, make sure to go and click at login at the top right corner. But if you don't have an account, make sure to click on free account so you can follow the prompt of creating your account. As you can see, if you want to learn, to learn more about this website, scroll down and read all the information necessary. Here, I'm just going to click at login at the top right corner, and I will have to fill my username with uh, the password and click on sign. But for me, I did not actually create my account with the, uh, the username. I created with my Google account, so I'll have to, to use this option of social connect, then simply go and type my email address here to log in into my account, so at gmail.com, and here I'll have to go and enter my password. Uh, maybe I just missed something, so let me just go and do it again, and click on sign in. And of course, once I sign in into my account, I'll find myself here in the home screen or main screen. And here, of course, that's going to be the dashboard of your uh, account. So, of course, we will have to go and access the survey builder. So once you logged in into your account, you'll be redirected to the Qualtrics dashboard. You can create or click on create a project or create survey button to access the survey builder and this is where you will design your survey. Of course, where you will find it, it's the same as creating a project so you can simply go at the top right corner and you find it. Click on it. Once you click on this, as you can see, you will be taken to another page. Here, make sure to start or click as the survey from scratch. Or you can use one of the sample projects as you can see, you will have here some of them and even project templates that you can use if you want to. There's even some COVID-19 projects or even academic project templates that you can use. Choose whatever suits you or you have here on this list panel a lot of projects or templates that you can use so we can go and start from them or simply go and start from scratch. Once I click on the survey, as you can see, the survey begin a survey from scratch or get started with a previous file or best use for creating ad hoc surveys and survey is going to be blank and of course you can even learn more about how to create your survey professionally and know to do how to do a lot of stuff if you click on this link right here how learn how to create a survey and as you can see here they will guide you with any possible thing that you would like to need you will find here kind of everything maybe uh, in this website to create your surveys your survey so how to make it professional how to make it look good and a lot of other stuff once you do so, make sure to click on Get Started. And here, of course, you will have to choose uh, the name for it. So I'm just going to put such as zero as an example. And how do you want to start your survey? So you would like to choose whatever suits you. Create a blank survey, projects, import a QSF file, or copy a survey from existing projects, or use a survey from your library. For me, I'm just going to choose this Create a Blank Survey Projects, and then click at Simply Create Projects. This will take me into the survey editor. Here, of course, I'll be able to design my survey. So in this survey builder, you'll see a blank canvas, of course, where you can design your survey. It starts by adding a survey title and description, then uh, use the survey editor to add different questions and type, such as multiple choices, open-ended, uh, Likert scale, or ranking questions. So you can custom sorry you can customize each question by adding answer answers option and any answer in the instructions. So as an example, I'm just going to put this question one. So how are you today as an example this is as a, just an example of course this is a sir or a questions of toshes so as an example good uh not bad and terrible as an example of course if you click here at the top three uh, options you'll be able to copy it to move the question up or down you'll be able to replace from library add a blank page a previous questions add notes or even delete the question if you want. Of course, we can even add a new question as an example. 
And here, as we said, we can choose what we want. We would like to choose a multiple choice question, text entry, text and graphics, max text table, slider, uh, form field, rank order, slide by uh, side by side. And of course, these other options may require from you to get an, a better plan for you. Of course, once you're done, you can simply, as an example, just add another question. And this one is going to be a slider. So here's an example. The question is going to be, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to put a test here. So it does not matter in here. Your choice, like, uh, I don't know, test again. And we're just going to put tests two and tests three. So for you, make sure to do this accurate. And here people will be able to answer like with whatever you want, they want. So as an example, here in multiple choices, like they're going to choose not bad here. They're going to choose whatever they want. So, of course, once you're done with customizing all your questions, as an example, of course, you can customize this question by adding answers option and any necessary instructions. As I said, you'll be able even to customize the survey options. So, Qualtrics provide various options to customize your survey. For example, you can uh, set the survey logic to show or hide certain questions based on previous responses. Of course, you can randomize even the answer choice to so set up code tests and explore these options in the survey build to tailor your survey to your specific needs of course everything that you didn't understand or you want to know as i said you'll find it on this survey basic overview and here you'll find how to do everything on the Squalertix website so if i did not cover everything of course i will not even cover everything in this video but for you of course if you want to do something you will find everything here you can go and check us by your own so once we do that of course we can even add the survey flow as an example, so surveys flows allows you to control the order which questions are presented or create a branch and logic based on response uh, response on the answers. Of course, you can click on the survey flow if you want to do that and ta tap to access this feature. And here you can add, of course, blocks and create skip patterns or set up a, a display logic to make your survey more dynamic. Of course, once you're done, you can simply click on this preview option so you can preview your survey and check if everything is looking good on the phone, on the desktop, and a lot of other options. So as you can see, uh, there's even the mobile phone if you want to, and you'll be able to see like uh, answers and etc. So of course, you, once everything is good on the preview, you can simply go and publish that, and you'll be able even to distribute it on other websites uh, from this option. Of course, uh, once you distribute it, you'll be able to distribute it, as I said, in emails, websites, social, mobile, or online panels. And once you're distributed and like two days has passed and you want to see the responses, you can simply go to this data and analysis or you'll even find this in your dashboard so you can see the answers of people. That is, uh, that is of course, that is you send this to, him, to them. So as you can see, your record are being re-indexed. So as you can see, the response I'm looking for do not exist because I know I did not send this any, to anyone and no one is answered yet. So for you, you'll find all the answers here. You'll be able even to review and publish the answers if you want. So, and you'll normally be good to go. So you can simply publish it and save it and see the, or analyze everything here. And you'll be good to go. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully created the survey using Qualartex. Qualtrics in 2023. Of course, Qualtrics offers a user-friendly interface and a wide range of, of, of options to design and customize your survey. Thanks for watching this tutorial and make sure to leave a like down below in this channel and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this. And we hope it was helpful for you, of course. So if you have any further questions, feel free to explore Qualtrics uh, support resources and join their community for assistance. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next video.